and welcome to this very special studio vlog where I'm going to get ready for not opening my shop because I already have an Etsy shop but publish products on it and um, what's the word no longer only selling printables actually I think I'm going to remove my printables for now and then only ship out my products and that is very exciting and I'm scared, to be honest. <laughs> I'm very excited, nervous, whatever you want to call it, about the shipping and how that will go and also with all this COVID and you know, so yeah. And I haven't even thought about the whole UK situation. I mean, so many people are saying they cannot ship to the UK and I'm like, wait, do I have to think about that as well? And I most likely have to because I'm not living in the UK so yeah that's something I don't want to think about right now so I've made a list um which you just saw me sit and write um it's not very <laughs> clear for you guys but it's here so I can keep track on what I need to do before the first of March as you can see, it is actually a pretty dark outside and um, it's actually half past 6 p.m. So I should be making dinner, but I'm not hungry. My boyfriend is not hungry. So instead, I think I'm just going to do one of the steps on my list. And the one I feel for right now is actually to think about my supply goals. So there is a lot of things I cannot do yet because I just don't have the money. And it feels more satisfying to make goals and then use the money I have gained through my shop to then buy new supplies to be more awesome and get awesome products. Or it's not like my products is not awesome right now. There's just some limits to them because I have to print them myself and get the paper and all of that. So yeah, that's a limit. Also in time, what I can do and manage myself, you know. So, where am I going with this? I'm not sure. I'm slowly talking my way through out there. So yeah, to say short, it's not that easy to do everything yourself and I need money to evolve. And I'm going to make prioritizes for what I should invest in first and how much money I need to obtain that goal. As many other people I have a lot of things I dream about but I will keep it simple and decide what my first three goals should be and I already know now that one of them should be a paper cutter because a lot of that I'm doing by hand and trying to make it as in one straight line as possible and it just takes a long time so that is definitely the first thing and then I would love to try to get a cutting machine for my stickers even though I know it can be a pain in the butt and actually cost a lot of money because it just screw up so much but I just need to try it because I'm so limited with the things I can do with my scissor and then hopefully evolve to manufacture and all of that but that is in the future for now I think my goal number two should be a somewhat cutting machine for stickers as goal number two. Number three, don't know yet, um, but I would like, as the creative person I am, and I love drawing, so I would like to illustrate my first three goals and then also let you guys know so you guys can follow along on how far we are from reaching the different goals. And if you guys should have any suggestions or thoughts about things that would be awesome for the shop, leave them in the comment below, I would love to hear them. But for now, I will illustrate my first three supply goals. Oh, if any of you guys should be interested, I can tell you that a cutting machine is in Danish called a skærmaskine. So now you know that. You're welcome. <laughs> Oh, there's so many to choose from and they all vary so much in price. Uh, what should I go with? This is so hard already. 
Okay, so I'm now standing with two options that I think would be good to try. So the first one you're seeing right now is a simple one, is to the cheaper side. And the good thing about this one, even though it's sold out right now, is that it's made from 100% recycled plastic. And I mean, that's amazing for me. I think that's a good way or a good path to go for business. So that is really um, intriguing for me. Uh, and then I'm considering these ones, which are very professional and work for um, other companies and all of that, um, and is uh, more expensive because of that, but only uh, double up. So we're still under 100 US dollars, um, and it will hopefully last for long. Um, and you know, they they seem to know what they're doing and um, they could provide me with good quality, but at the same time, these are very, very heavy also. So I'm afraid that the shipping cost will be insane, in, <laughs> insanely much. And yeah, I don't know. Um, I'm just, uh, it will be some more work to get this one. So to be 100% honest, I'm right now very, Tweak to buy this one when the shops hopefully open again soon and they will get this in stock again um, and then just try it out. I mean sometimes we just need to try things out and get the experience and then in the end it's it's just money. I, I don't want to sound uh, arrogant or anything. It's not like that but sometimes you know we try to be flawless and in that way we see that we're spending a lot of money and it's a waste because we then fail or something but you gain experience too so yeah i think this is my plan b i want to i want to make the easy choice if it is because if this keeps being uh, out of stock i will then go to this one but first thing is this one i think and then this one if the other one is a disappointment and then I will just have to be okay with the money I had to sacrifice for the experience. So that means I can now finally illustrate goal number one. Okay, so here is the final result. I think it turned out pretty cute. It is a yellow background though, which you can see with this camera for some reason. And that is orange, not pinkish. Anyway, you will see this if you go on my social medias. I'm just not feeling the look of myself today. Anyway, I, I just finished dinner as well and I'm now ready to go illustrate goal number two which is a machine to cut stickers and I'm scared. Um, there is different options and I think most of you know that Cricut, 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 Cricut. However you say it, <laughs> it's the most popular one, but also a lot of people are having a lot of struggles. So yeah, I'm scared to choose. Should I choose the popular one, but seems also to be a pain in the butt 
at times or should I try another one? Of all, what I think this shows is I need to do some research and hopefully <laughs> and they will cost around the same amount so I can put that in and then make a decision later maybe because they are expensive just themselves so I know it will take some time to get to goal number two but it will also make a big difference for my shop if I manage to make it work and not just cost a lot of money for me because it keeps cutting wrong but yeah that's a struggle for future me anyway it's time to research again and then do goal number two okay first of all let's see how much a cricket machine costs so here is a danish side <gasps> i knew they were expensive but holy moly this is a lot of money Damn, ha I hope this is just because it's a, it's a Danish company, because otherwise... Oh man, it's going to take a long time to get the money to pay for that thing. <sighs> God damn it. Okay, that is under half the price in US dollars, but that's also their official shop, which of course has to be located in... Um, America it seems yeah it seems like that and then it will cost a lot for shipping and getting into Europe so that will be just as much I don't know I'm I'm still in shock for how expensive this machine is yeah but let me just research some more and then we can work on the illustration You will notice that the cameos are a lot louder than the Crick machine and... Okay, so I've done a lot of research and it seems like the cricket is silent compared to cricket being awfully loud and makes a weird sound that is just like a very confused robot in some way. <laughs> That's the only way I can explain the sound and... Um, but the cricket is often off with the lines whereas the silhouette seems to be right all the time so the question is do i want right lines but a very weird loud noise or do i want not always cuts and sometimes very frustrating times but a more silent one I don't know and it's also because you know I'm going to do it in my apartment and I don't you know want to be like that very very annoying neighbor having this very awful sound going on so I'm like can I can I make a drawer or anything for it so I can just shove it in there and then try to make it silent that way I'm I don't know because of course I would like to have perfect cuts every time but I'm like just like that sound. I, I don't know if I can handle that sound or if my neighbors can handle that sound for that matter as well. So yeah, but they are around the same, um, what's the word? But the price for them is around the same. So I will just make a drawing of something that reminds of a cricket and a silhouette and then put a price that will, um, will cover both of the prices so yeah let's let's do that for now because it's almost 11 p.m when when uh oh, everything is going so fast but yeah i need to go make that illustration now because otherwise i will not have anything done today
Okay, so here is the final result and again super simple, not totally accurate, but cute anyway. And I just continued with this funny idea of telling how much it will cost in stickers. So how many stickers I will have to sell before I can pay for this. And to get a sticker cutter, I will have to sell 600 stickers. So yeah, just to put things in perspective. And this is of course also because I'm not selling very high quality stickers. It is labeled paper. So for example, um, my telephone, I put Mr. Sad Dog and as you can see, he's, uh, yeah, pretty teared up. He's not very protective. So it is definitely the best to use for um you know bullet journal and notes and things where you're not dropping it on a daily basis like my phone putting it in my pockets and on the table and on the not so clean kitchen table and all of that here so i want of course to upgrade if i can find a way to do that as well but that's another thing on my list actually um but Today, I, uh, I want to focus on doing this. It is getting late, but let's see if I can find goal number three so I can check one of the to-dos off my list. Okay, so I just skipped the drawing process because I didn't want to make this too consistent, but here is the result. And I don't know why I thought a label printer would be cheap because when I think about it, it is a mini printer in some sort. So yeah, this is a hefty one too. Um, wait, I just put in a Danish word, hefty. <laughs> um, that basically means it's, it, it's a big one. It's, it's a lot to take in. Um, yeah. It, it costs a lot of money uh, too. So for this, I will have to sell 400 stickers to get to goal three. But you know, I have to um, reach goal one and two first. So it all seems to be a very pretty long journey, but <laughs> I'm here for the fun. So it's okay. Um, hopefully I will still get to ship a lot of pretty products out in the world and I will keep uh, continue making new products and be inspired in this very beautiful world but it's now very late and I'm tired so I will um, go to sleep and uh, yeah get get some energy into my body so I can have energy this this was an awful where am i going with this i need energy so we can talk together tomorrow hopefully because it is weekend so i have nothing else to do and that's nice because i love creating and drawing and being inspired i'm tired so i don't know what i'm saying anymore i will i will see you soon hopefully Okay, so it's now the next day and I used most of the day to do chores like laundry and cleaning up and go down with the trash and all of that. But now it's, <laughs> I think it's around 4 p.m. So I don't have that much time left of the day. At least it doesn't feel like that, but I still want to do uh, just a little something for my business so I think today I will try to print out my products and cut them and just do that as a relaxing task and then also try um, stickers again on my different sticker papers which I have because I made a um, was the best paper because I was new I didn't know what to expect of paper and sticker papers so I think I will try again and see what I think about the quality this time now that I have more experience. Ex that went totally wrong. Now that I have more experience with <laughs> printing on paper and sticker paper.
Okay, so here we have a whole line of different sticker paper, but the same print. So first we have matte, then I have vinyl, and then I actually have transparent. I know some of these spots are white, so they will be transparent, but I thought it was still nice to see the colors for the transparent as well. That This was a very interesting experiment. I can remember the first time I tried this out in my other YouTube video I've already mentioned. I was so scared, I was shaking so much and I was making so many mistakes. So this time it was just kind of almost wonderful because everything went great as you can see. I had an idea for what British, British no, I can't speak anymore printer setting I should use. Um, so this was actually a really, really great experience. And um, now it's just time to cut the products out and then stick these on something where I can test the ability to protect itself from being used. Good morning. I'm so tired. School is starting soon and I really don't want to. <laughs> I'm just so tired, but I really want to be productive today and do a lot for the shop so it could be pretty and nice to look at and I can be proud of with my products and all of that. So I think I'm just going to be strong today, tired, but strong. Okay, let's do this. I will just do my schoolwork and then come back to you.
So Monday is almost over and I think I did a lot compared to how tired I was <laughs> this morning. I um, I get to take some product pictures which you guys saw and I'm very happy with the color scheme now. And I also got to cut out the new products which I decided to do after looking through all my drawings which I posted on Instagram. So here they are my rainbow bubble which I always say I would like to stay in and um, sleepy pearl on her bread bed and egg um, blanket and then these two small freebies um, I decided to make small freebies on the sticker paper when there was a blank spot so I uh, you know don't waste the paper um, and I thought that was nice and then this one inspired by valentine um but still kept to just the theme of being kind and show your love which i want you to do and of course myself <laughs> to do all year round not just that one day and then all my mini mini prints um which is kind of insane i don't know where this idea came from yeah um, but since I am starting with the themes, I um, I think I just need to decide for myself where these mini prints are going into, you know, what category it will go into. So this, for example, I will think will go into self-care, this one too, um, this will definitely go into my food theme, these are just freebies so they can go over here. Um, this will be self-care to this one is self-care i think i mean this is based on me saying there is no dream that is too big you can dream as big as you want so you're that and this is also on a principle yeah this this is going to take some time because as mentioned there is a lot of mini prints so look forward to that if you are uh, interested in the art i made on instagram and uh, otherwise i'm just making some tea right now and that's because we have one more obstacle coming through this next week and that is that i know i will have to have my period and that hurts really bad sometimes so um, I was told this kind of tea, which is actually just a dried flower called Rölke. If there is an English word for it, I will put it right here. And uh, I have no idea how it tastes so uh, and if it works. So I will let you guys know both how it tastes and if it works for me. Other than that, I know I will have to stretch out my hips because that I have found worked for me and I mean seriously stretched like in that case where I sometimes lay down and do a stretching thing thinking okay breathe relax your leg is not going to snap into two pieces it's okay it cannot break like that just relax because yeah it just feels like is this normal is this natural should I be scared but it's fine and it is apparently helping me because otherwise I could I could sometimes not even make breakfast for myself because it just hurts so much and I was just laid down on the floor and cry. Yeah, it's it's pretty serious. So trying to deal with that because I just don't want to be punished because I can create life and it is working. I just need to really do it and stretch because sometimes when it's then everything is good I forget all about it and then it hurts really bad and I'm like damn it why why did I didn't I do it I know how bad it hurts when I don't do it so yeah drinking this tea see if that can do anything and then I seriously need to stretch before my period decide to show up and hopefully will not destroy this whole show up date I really don't want it to do that this really took a dark turn. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm generally really excited and just happy and just really enjoying the products that I've made, even though I'm 
also a little bit skeptical because I'm just so afraid everybody's going to hate it <laughs> even though you I know you guys are so sweet and you write such sweet comments and it really really warms my heart so thank you so much for that and it's because of you that I am here doing this trying this out even though my heart is beating so fast <laughs> but it's for a good cause and yeah all I can hope now is that this channel will keep growing or I will in some way be able to keep creating. Um, I know for the next two weeks I would like to work on my portfolio and then on my comics. So that is all going to be very exciting and I'm just really trying to accept and believe that everything will turn out okay. So I hope you will do this together with me. Believe that no matter what things will turn out great. And now I think it's time for me to try out the tea. So let's go do that. Let's see if this is a horrible tea or if it's somehow drinkable. Is that even a word? Drinkable? Or did I just make that up myself? Drinkable. Of a liquid fit to drink. Oh well. Drinkable. Now it just sounds funny because I've said it so many times. Drinkable, 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 drinkable. Oh, it's an informal word. So for you who are a little bit more formal, I will try to see if it is pleasant to taste. Okay, here we go. That is a very special taste indeed. And I put honey in this because I always think tea is a little bit bitter. So putting a little teaspoon of honey is just amazing. Um, but this tea is definitely something for itself. I mean, it's not bad. But it's not like really delicious either. It's like it's it's just one of those things where you can taste it is good or healthy or doing something for your health, if you know what I mean with that. Yeah, mostly just a weird taste. But if it works, I will keep drinking it. Before I say goodnight, I just want to say I tried to put them into themes and there was just some who just I don't know what to do with. So I'm just not going to fit them into the current themes I have. And instead, I'm just going to make a whole section for mini prints because they are going to be from my Instagram, which is kind of independent from the themes I'm doing on my Etsy shop so I think that will make this a lot more easy and relaxing for me so yeah just wanted to say that okay good night for now good morning guys as you can may conclude from the blanket I'm in a sad mood it's actually very rare I wake up happy in the morning and I think that's why I love sleeping until late. I don't know. I'm not good at it, but I'm still waking up around half past 7am. So I have yet been enjoying being able to do something before school. So it's not like waking up and school, bam, just like that. I like, I really like waking up and then do something nice for myself like putting this blanket over me because i'm tired and sad <clears throat> and i want to feel loved so by putting this blanket over me i feel like someone is holding me tight and it's nice once again i'm going to do some schoolwork first and then i will try to get some more product pictures with the last products I have made yesterday or cut yesterday. I did try out different types of sticker paper and 
I still think I'm just going with the labels that I do normally and then I am going to write down that it is not that secure so you can use it for notebooks and other stuff or surfaces where um, it's, it's just more safe so if like my phone you are going to rub it against other things and it is going to be um, exposed for water um, then it's not good. Um, but notebooks and other stuff like putting it on your notebook like this one that that should be totally fine so and then I will look up um, safe and waterproof sticker paper and then deal with that when I find something interesting and see how much that is going to cost because the other ones are like in the middle of being okay but still not super protective so you still have to so i just thought going with the cheap one and then afterwards find something that is actually secure so you can be totally safe or you need to be safe and not that awkward middle in between and i also know this whole emotion and being sad and jealous and all of that is Definitely also because I know I'm going to have my period soon and that also well that always messes up my emotions But I can see the battery is telling me it's soon dying so I will go eat Some breakfast now and then we can talk later <laughs> So take that into account first. If you are, if you do find yourself being pulled away from producing. Hey, so this is actually a little break from the whole let's be productive because I just woke up and was very emotionally overloaded. So I decided to relax today and um, I also got to therapy and uh, it was so nice and she gave me so many compliments <laughs> about how far I've come in the process of healing so that's really really nice and it makes me happy and then I also got a mail um this is something I bought myself and it is from sorry 
I can't remember the name. I feel awful. I'm just really bad with names. It's just not stuck in my head. So this is the wonderful person I bought from and they do have, let me just cover up everything, this very cute stamp. At least I think it's a stamp, but they might be printed on, but here, I think it's a stamp. It's so cute. Um, so now let's open it up and look at the products inside, which means it's time to bring out the fancy envelope opener. Still haven't looked up the word for this, so here, I'm going to call it an envelope opener as well today. Damn it, so close. It was almost a smooth opening. There we go. Okay, it's now open, so let's look what's inside. And here is the creator's information. If it will focus, please. There you go. And there's a note. Is this the creator's handwriting? Because then I am so jealous. I mean, look at this. Who can write like that with their hand? That's, that's amazing. And here is what I bought. So I actually only bought um, three stickers, as I can recall. But I also got this cute note thingy. Look, that's so pretty. That's really inspiring. I, I want to do something like this now. So cute. Okay, now to the things I actually bought. Um, why am I unfocused? Come on, it's actually focusing on my face and yet I seem blurred. Or is it just me? What's going on? Are you okay, camera? Are you feel emotionally overwhelmed as well? There we go, I think I'm sharp now. Uh, anyway, <laughs> here is the stickers I bought. So cute, so in love. Just adore this style overall. This camera is not my friend today. <sighs> Come on. There you go. Look, so cute and delicious. And I'm so excited to use them. So that was a happy surprise. And yeah, it's nice to do something for myself once in a while and use my money on something that doesn't seem super rational, but I mean, if it makes me happy, it should be a rational reason to do it sometimes. Yeah, very happy. Started as a really awful day and now I just feel very appreciated about the life I have. And it's really good to know and experience that things change all the time. So if I have a bad day, then I know it will turn around eventually. So it's more okay to have a bad day than before where I thought if I had a bad day, it would that would be it. I would be a sad person for the rest of my life. And who wants to be with a person who is sad all the time? But now I know there is more to life. So that's, that's good to know. And I think I will go back to relax and enjoy the small things in life. And uh, I will talk to you guys later. Hello. Are you still there? So this video ended up as a very long video and I apologize for that, but I hope you had fun anyway. <laughs> I mean, if you're still here, I don't know how many had to go because it was too long, but if you're here, thank you. You are an awesome human being. It's now Sunday, which means my shove update is tomorrow. I have one side in me that is like, oh my god, what shall we tomorrow? I'm so excited. 
it's going to be so good. And then I have another side in me, which is like, don't you dare even dream about one sale. Don't just don't go there because you know we will be sad and disappointed. So everything is a little bit emotional inside of me right now, even though that's just part of being me. I have found out over time, but at the same time, it is a pretty big step in my life. All my stickers are ready and all my posters are ready to go. All the shipping supplies are ready. Now I just have to wait and hope that one of you will surprise me by making a sale tomorrow. Or another day, if you're not ready for tomorrow, that's totally fine. <laughs> I'm very happy about my shop right now. I have done so much for it and I would like to add more products, but I just don't have the time. So I'm just accepting that more products will be added through time when I have time to do it. And this feels right. I was so scared I would regret it and it would feel just wrong. But now I just, this is what I need to do. I need to try it. So very happy, very everything. I feel I'm, I'm everything right now. I'm also sweating a lot for some reason, just talking about it. So I will have to, to wait for tomorrow to see how everything goes. And thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was insightful in some way to see how I prepared for this shop update. Next video is of course going to be me packaging some sales, hopefully. <laughs> I mean, otherwise I will also work on my portfolio so that at least I know will be a part of the next video but now there is no more I can do for this video so I hope you all staying loving and caring if you haven't subscribed yet go do that if you want to give it a like and a comment this way you can support me for free and otherwise I think it's just time to um, move our bodies a little bit, get some happy energy in it and uh, therefore start the dance party. <laughs>